and the train comes, good timing. Hi there, I'm Janine. I'm an artist and I share my creative journey on this channel. I'm about to start a new series of paintings and first I start with collecting all my inspiration. Uh, a great place to have all your inspiration gathered together is on a mood board and I'm going to show you exactly how I do that. A mood board is one of the most important tools when I start a new series. A mood board is basically just a collection of images and anything that inspires you. It's just a visual reminder of your inspiration. We use it a lot in design, um, but it's really helpful for any visual project, which is why I use it for my painting process. This inspiration that I collect on the mood board is only really a starting off point for my series though. I don't refer to it all the time, it's, I don't adhere to it strictly. It's just so I have a starting off point um, and know what I want to do rather than just starting off with a blank page and no idea what I'm going to paint. And I don't get too hung up on sticking to my initial ideas while the series develops. It usually just develops mind of its own. The easiest place to um, find images is on Pinterest. You've probably used Pinterest before. If you haven't, it's really easy. It's super easy to set up an account. Um, and I do recommend it for if you are working on any sort of visual projects or any projects really. There's, you find anything that's on the, on the internet. But you can also copy images from books or magazines. Anything that you've seen that inspires you. You can even use um, bits of packaging, little objects, flowers, anything that you can physically put on a board. I also find it really important to go through your own previous work and to see which ideas you've already worked on that um, you would like to develop further. For example, in my last series I had this painting that has a lot of energy in it and I would like to take some of that energy and bring it into my new series. You can also add some keywords to your mood board just to um, explain further what you want to portray with your paintings. For my series I have thought of words like um, spaciousness, light, muted colours, um, transparency. I work a lot with layers anyway and I especially like um, combining more transparent layers with um, more solid ones underneath. But I don't want it to feel too calm, which is why I want to inject those hints of energy. I'm now going to jump on Pinterest and show you exactly how I collect my inspiration there. I'm in my Pinterest account now. Um, you can have a look, I'm at jclosestudio, all one word. Uh, it's a nice mixture of art and interior design. So you can have a look if you want to. For my mood board, I'm actually going to create a new board. So to do that, you just click on plus and then go to board down here. And I'm just going to call it mood board. I'm going to keep it public um, so you can have a look if you want and you can see what I've pinned on it. It's already shown me some ideas but these are actual mood boards and I'm looking for images but I'm going to have a look through anyway to see if there's anything I like. This is quite nice and convey spaciousness but it's a bit too a bit too specific. I don't think there's anything here so I'm going to ooh, I like these colors though. I might save these colors. 
It gets very addictive. You can scroll for hours and waste a lot of time. But it's also really fun. So why not? Anyway, I think I'm done with this section. And I'm going to search now. One of the um, keywords I had in mind was um, spacious. Let's just see what comes up if I type in spacious mood. Oh, I quite like this actually. Might be a bit too organic, but I can, um, I want to save it to mood board. I can just save and then edit later. Maybe I'm looking for spacious, airy. I have searched a lot of interiors with this account, so now it shows me a lot of interior images, which isn't quite what I'm after. Spacious, airy mood, maybe. You can also click on something. I just saw this pampas grass here. And then it might come up with visually similar Im images. This, for example, is very nice. Just a simple texture like this one. It already shows mood board, so I can just click save and it'll save automatically to mood board. It'll also show you at the bottom. You maybe just saw it. This is also very nice because it's got layers of um, transparent layers, which is also one of my keywords. This one's very pretty actually. Again, transparencies. You can see I'm kind of gravitating to this color palette of pinks and neutrals. Maybe I'll search for spacious nature. I think I need to come up with a different word to spacious. Open. That's better. Definitely not what I'm looking for. Wow, there's a lot of air. It also gives you um, suggestions up here. So maybe aesthetic. Something like this is good. Let's just save this one. And then maybe I can find another good one. I do like this, but this is a bit too graphic maybe for what I want to do. Let's save it anyway. Another word that I was looking for is uh, transparency. Well, we've already found some images, but um, let's find some more. I actually really like this one. That's also a very pretty image. I really like the play with light like in the water and where was it? It might be water, it might be dunes, I'm not sure. Then I'm going to search for some muted colours. These are very nice. I like the earthy colours and then the bits of very pale blue. Well, not pale. Muted blue. I'm not going to look too much for colour because I'm going to do a colour mixing exercise later on. And that will probably inspire most of my colours. I also want um, hints of energy. Mm, let's just search for that. See what comes up. I think I look for energetic marks instead. Like this is really pretty beautiful. Let's see if there's more like this. I do like a good charcoal sketch. I love this painting. Um, I love Jason Craig Cat. But I usually try and avoid adding um, work of other artists uh, onto my mood board just so it doesn't influence me too much. But I think just elements like a few marks is very helpful. I do love this. Also, this is really cool. I wonder if there's some coloured ones. It's all black and white. Oh, like this. Maybe energetic paint marks. Here. 
here's my mark making board. This is something I did previously. I really like those scribbly marks. I actually also really like repetition, like in all these here. So I might include something like that. I might actually um, search for some of those repetitive marks for some better images because I think I'd like to include that as well. And I want to save an, a look in all pins, not just my pins. Something like this is really cool. Let's see if there's something larger scale. I actually like this because this is not um, this has got some variation to it. And then another thing you can do once you've saved quite a few images to your board, let's go to the board. Here, mood board. That's already looking quite nicely together. It, at the bottom of your board, it will show you some more ideas for this board. Let's see if there's anything here that um, could work with my series. I was hoping there'd be some more atmospheric images. This could be a good example for transparent layering. Is there anything similar? I quite like this one because this isn't artwork. It's a bit more abstract, conceptual. And this is also nice for transparency. I like this layered effect, so I might just use a snippet of that. And these colours are gorgeous. Again, maybe I'll just use a section of this artwork. I don't want to show the whole artwork. This is a great image for spaciousness. Cool, so let's look at our board again. Lovely. Definitely like these. I'll probably leave all images on this board for now. And then when I print them, I'll edit and select which ones I really want to use. images now. I don't think they'll all fit on here. I also printed some of my own previous work. These here. Um, what I like about those, this one, I like the that the center is light and then um, the edges are a bit darker. I probably won't want to go as dark. Maybe like a rusty color would be nice. Then this one, I really like the energetic marks. This one's really nice and light overall. It's got this very subtle gradient in pinkish tone, where I've got a lot of pink in my um, in my mood images. And on this one, I really like all the transparent layers that are on top of all the others. So I think I definitely want to include this on my mood board. Um, the colours I might replace later with some colour swatches that I'm making. This just overall gives a nice sense of spaciousness but also um, transparency. Where I've got another image, this one here, which is very similar but I feel like this says more than this one. I mean, I prefer the colours of this actually. We'll see. And then I... I don't know about this, it, I feel like it doesn't say very much. Apart from that the colours are nice and the... I guess the textures are really pretty too. And the combination of the more solid 
um, color field and the textured area. Oh yes, I really loved this one. The um, the repetitive marks in here. What else do I like? Again, this one just very light and spacious. This is quite delicate. I might put it on for now, but eventually I might decide that it's too delicate and take it off. The other ones here, they're mainly of other artwork. Actually, this one is probably a good one to show all the scribbles. So I'm just arranging them. However, I feel like they look pretty together. And then later I'll use some pins to pin them on. This board is, um, it's just a cork board that I've stretched a raw canvas over. Um, it looks a bit weird because it goes in. But that's what I have at the moment. I think the thing I like about this, I already got in everything else. I've got the pink tones and I've got uh, the overall lightness, which I feel like is in all of those images. And little bits of colour, which I guess you can see in the others too. What I liked about this one was not only the colour, but also the geometry and texture in it. Do I want to include it though? This one really just shows texture and I think I've got an, a lot of others that have this texture, like this image and this and even in my previous one. Next tech texture looks actually quite similar to where I've overlaid the transparent layer. This one is mainly for the energetic marks, which I think I've covered with this. And it's a bit darker than how I want to approach this one. It's now a big, a big hole in the center. I was thinking of some objects I could put, put on here, but I haven't found anything yet. So you can always add to your mood board. You don't have to do it all in one go and then leave it like this forever. Actually, there's a little leaf. There's this leaf, um, eucalyptus, I guess. That's quite cute. It's quite delicate. Maybe not right bang in the center. I think I'm happy with this for now, so I'm just going to stick all the pins in. You can see that I've also added keywords that I didn't show you earlier, um, like light, layered, just to um, add another reminder of what I want to portray with my series. Keep the mood board somewhere you can see it often, so you subconsciously take in all the inspiration. Don't um, consciously refer to it while you're painting. You can refer to it when you're reviewing your paintings. Once you're a little bit stuck, then you can go back to mood board and to check what you actually wanted to portray. But the important point is that you want to just subconsciously absorb all your inspiration and not have to refer to it all the time. You can also keep changing your mood board um, if there's anything that doesn't resonate with you anymore or you found something new that you really want to incorporate then just just change it. That's why I like the uh, pin board because you can pin things on, take them off um, rather than sticking it down. Thanks so much for watching. I um, would love to know if you also use a mood board to start your paintings or if you start in a different way, just how do you get over the fear of the blank page 
If you have any more questions about mood boards, also let me know. If you found this video helpful, please like it. Consider subscribing if you want to hear more tips from me and I'll hopefully see you next time. Bye bye.